Dave, a point on the board for you away from home. Your, your views on how your team played? I thought, I, thought, um, I thought a draw was probably a fair result. The, the, I think we're disappointed not to win. But I think a draw is fair, probably a fair result. But I thought, I sort of, not irrespective of the result, because we're, we're in results-based business, but the fact is we, we played better for, for periods of the game. Not long periods, but for periods of the game. And you could see relationships forming. You could see it. You could. We had far more goal mouth action. We had far more, um, let's say, relationships, passing moves. And that's going to keep coming and coming and coming. Um, I thought some players played really well. Um, I thought they all played um, to a standard. I don't think anyone played particularly poorly. Um, and that's what we want. We want them to keep doing that, you know. So it's a start, one swallowed, and all that kind of carry on. Um, but we, and, and we've got to carry on. You could have easily gone in front in the very first few minutes of the game with a terrific move, but then unfortunately you, you fell a goal behind. But your, your new look team showed a lot of character. Yeah, I, I thought I, th I thought we had probably the better of the first sort of 20 minutes, and they scored. And then I think we had sort of like two 10-minute spells. 20 minutes to 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and then in the middle of the second half, I thought either side of that would probably just shaded the rest of the game. Not in, in, in patches, then created chances. Um, you know, when, when they made a sub, I thought, you know, one of the lads said, it's coming, in it? And I said, yeah, go on, keep that intensity and keep that tempo. Um, and it, but it didn't. And you go, well, that's, there's room for improvement straight away. But like I said, I thought we were um, in control of the game at times where we haven't been um, this season. So, you know, it's, there, there's an improvement, you know. So we've, we've got to keep going. We've got another week of training um, where we've got to get some more into them. Did you feel you had more of an attacking thrust today? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think, I think everyone, I hope, I hope everyone thinks that. I certainly think that. Um, and we've got to make sure that we we continue that. It wasn't vintage us by a long stretch, but it was an improvement on um, where we've come from and where we've been. You mentioned relationships. We saw Mick Amandon and Scott Caskett talking after the half-time whistle had gone. They were still out on the pitch. We've also seen Scott Caskett coming to you and Kenny yeah. for talking. There's, there's a lot to be worked on there. You can see that there's a lot more to come. Of course. We've got to take every opportunity. You know, I'm going around all their houses tonight. <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> What's but, the tennis? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, she should have stood there then. No, um, but yeah, that's 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 what it is. And I've just said to them, I said, well, ever you're receptive to what we're asking you, and while ever you're trying your socks off, we're going to get better because I believe in myself and the staff, um, and I believe in the players. And all we need from you is the buy-in, and the, and we have. You know, this is because we're worried about buying anything. They've got to stick together. It's, going to, it's not going to be a smooth road, but we've got to make sure we remain um, confident in our abilities and confident in our um, processes, if you like, in our development of a team and individuals within that team. And that's what we've got to do. Nick Mandarin back on the score sheet as well with a well-taken goal. and. It, it was pleasing for everybody, you know, it, it lifts the lads, doesn't it? It has been a, too long of a time in terms of minutes for league goals, but they've got one today. Yeah, look, like I said, I thought Janil could have had three. Yeah. There was one right at the end of the first half where Frio doesn't take a touch and just rolls it across the six-yard box. I think we tap it in. Janil blasted one over the bar towards the end. Um, so, look, I, I thought we were fine. I thought we were just, we've just improved again. And whatever I keep saying to you guys, we're improving and genuinely believe it and genuinely see it, then I've got to be content. Will it be enough every week? Well, time will tell. Um, but we, you know, whatever we, we keep improving, then that's, that's you know, the, the, the least, if you like, we can hope for and the best we can hope for. And that's, that's, that gives me contentment. The one thing that you can't knock is the way support that you're having. Oh. Leeds United, Charlton and, and here at, at Shrewsbury. It's terrific how they've latched on to you away from home. I, I said to the lads before the game, I said, listen, I said, you're going to have the same amount of crowd as we had at Leeds. And you all ran your socks off and did brilliantly that night. 
I said, do it again for them. If you don't want to do it for yourself, I'm sure you do, but if you don't want to do it for a football club, do it for the fans. They're the ones that pay all the hard, hard earned money. And I thought they were terrific. I thought they were absolutely out. The turn up in numbers and, and the. And, and it might be tough getting to Plymouth, but you know, it's. We're really grateful. It doesn't half help us at the minute because, because of where we're at. And I hope the fans feel that we're improving and, and, and developing because we are trying and it is difficult. And, and we hope that they see that and that they keep giving us the tremendous support that they have done for the start of this season.